Good day guys, Bing here. Um, yesterday we modeled some dormer windows, just use uh, walls and the roof. So today I'm going to show you um, how to model a generic model, a, a, not, not a face based, not a roof based, but a word plan based generic model. Okay, so which uh, uh, is it's, it's quite useful, it's uh, very simple, and you can use it uh, to create walls and roofs. Okay, so let's do it. So first, create a new generic model. Okay, generic model. Okay, so first, let's go to the left view. So I'm going to draw a reference lines. So from this point, go up, and then dimension DI, and to a uh, angular dimension. So from this reference line to this reference plan. Okay, so you can use tab to pick pick the reference plan. So now we can create. Let's call it an a an angle parameter. So you can use instance and OK. So now imagine. So this is the roof. Okay, so the big roof and the doma. Uh, the dormer uh, window will be uh, like this, so go down. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to the front view. So, so first we need some uh, reference plan. Okay, so this these two will be width, and then the height of the roof. Oh, sorry, the height. Um, the yeah the the offset of the roof and then the top it will be the pitch the top the ridge height okay so um, dimension di equal and di so this will be the width let's create a parameter let's call it uh, w maybe instance now okay and then di so um, so this will be the height okay so let's call it h1 Oops, H1, uh, maybe instance as well. And another one will be this. So this will be H2. So, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to, um, because we are not going to use H2 to control the roof, because we need, usually we use pitch, okay, so to control the uh, the roof. So what we need to do is we need to work out the re relation between this H2 and an angle. So we need to um, create another. So maybe we call it a pitch, roof pitch. Okay, so let's just call it pitch, angle, angle, instance. So this will be the roof pitch. And I'll just type in 30 for now. And apply OK. So now I'm going to just do a screenshot of this. So see here. So this will be the the dormer window. Okay. So like the like this, and then the roof pitch will be this. So if I draw a line here, right angle here. So this will be the pitch. So okay. And then we already know that this is a W, so which means this one is W divided by two. And we know that this is H2, H2, yeah. And then we can get, what we can get is we can work out the pitch. So here, so in this triangular shape, tangent pitch equals H2 divided by W divided by 2. Okay, so which means P, the pitch, equals arc tangent A, this. So arc tangent H2 divided by W divided by 2. So this is the formula for the pitch. So if we go here, um, uh, here, a T A T A N uh, tangent bracket H two divided by another bracket 
um, w divided by 2 bracket bracket so now 47.48 degrees and I click OK so now if I draw a line from here to here so this pitch is 47 point something degrees okay so now we can create that uh, let's just do a extrusion so, okay so extrusion so first let's pick some reference plan okay so with this lock so first we can pick this one so I'm going to just pick a reference plan okay instead of the level so most of the time ta most of the time it's the same but yeah but sometimes it won't it's different okay so, and this one and this one and then we need to so for this one we need to draw it draw a line from and also I'm going to uncheck the chain so this will help so if I draw it here so I can just lock it okay so that's the only one and that's fine and this one to here okay all locked that's all good so trim 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 and trim so this will be the shape of that wall okay or the roof so if I click finish let's go to left view so you will see this is the extrusion so start from this reference plan go that way so what you can do is you can just go drag it down here so here actually um, as you can see you can just because we are going to model a void to cut away this part so you can just simply drag this uh, you know to here uh, deep enough so yeah I think that's that's all okay so that should be okay or you can use uh, some formula to work out to uh, make this extrusion stop right at this point but I don't think it's necessary for this so I'll just stop here okay so now we can create a void so use this one so in this uh, left view create a void extrusion so pick line with this lock pick this reference line and then we need another one so maybe pick this reference plan and let me try maybe just pick this usually I don't uh, recommend you pick any geometry edge of geometry so always pick uh, reference plans reference lines but uh, for this one I think should be fine because we are not going to uh, flex it we're not going to add parameter to it so it will be there always okay so go back to front view so you can see this is the void the extrusion void you just need to drag it so maybe you can just drag it to here and then lock onto this reference plan same this one to lock onto this reference plan so now if we go to 3d view you will see so this is the solid part this is the void and the final result is this so if we go edit type oh, so family types so you can change the a angle which is the main roof angle so for example 30 degree 45 degree and so the width so if we change this width, so 1.5 meter yeah if we change the oh hell okay because I add this formula in this roof page so this roof page become becomes um, gray uneditable so you we need to adjust the height to adjust the pitch but usually we only we we, we, we um, maybe we need to swap this so let's let's do it so okay so let's go back to that, that formula so instead of use formula for this pitch we need to use pitch for that H2 so we need to get so from here from this one we need to work out what 
equals h2. So h2 equals tangent p pitch times w divided by 2. OK, so this will be the formula. So instead of have this, just get rid of this. And then in h2, type in tangent tangent p i t pitch um, and times bracket w divided by 2 bracket so now apply okay so now we can use pitch to control this height h2 okay so for example if i type in 45 will go up higher so that's 45 degree if type in 30 it becomes 30 degree and h1 will be uh, the height from this point to this point so for example um, 1.5 meter apply oh, good maybe just this one can go up two meters okay so that's it and then so this is the basic shape of this uh, family so we can load this um, um, let's create a project okay and maybe create a roof okay go to 3d view so this is the roof with a 30 degree let's make it 45 okay so now let's go back to this family so if I so hang on this is uh, uh, important so this is a generic model it's not uh, any face space or uh, roof space it's just generic model but you need to do this check this work plan based okay and then load this um, back into the project so go uh, where's my roof go to 3d view so now you will see you can place this family use this place on face okay place on face because it's always vertical you will see it's although it's placed on face it's always vertical so place it here so 45 degree it match so you will see yeah, it matched that roof. So if you change this to, for example, 30 degree, and so you just need to adjust this uh, angle to match. Uh, how it looks like the it's not deep enough. So it's yeah, it's okay. You can just go back and drag this. So maybe you can do this, drag this uh, to make it deep enough, and load it back. Yeah, that's better so you can you can just move it around you don't need to adjust anything okay so once you are happy um, you can you can create wall on it you can so for example wall by face um, let's just model some generic wall so you can pick pick a face and create these walls and also you can use a roof by face if you want to so go pick this and change the type maybe create a roof and then that's it so let, let me just move that family away so you will see this um, it's you can still so for example attach to the roof okay so there's some issue here let's try a reset profile attach top yep so you can just um, yeah use use this ge ge geometry as a tool to create place your walls or roof or you can even um, you can even model uh, more detail in this family to to make it looks sorry wrong one make it look like this uh, dormer windows so you don't need to so even make it a, a window family category uh, sorry window category family instead of just uh, gen generic model so i think that's about it um, i noticed that um, this dormer opening
won't work so for example if i uh, on this roof so if i use doma pick this roof i won't be able to pick this roof okay so um anyway so at least we can quickly create this wall so uh, for example I'll, we can just delete delete that roof or use this roof as a as a as a guide guide and then you can just create a roof from that so and pick walls so and just uncheck uncheck this uh slope finish it so adjust the height to match that roof so for example let's do this wireframe see if we can move it up yep so that's it oh hell yep so need to adjust the this to the exterior side finish no let's go to front view so move it down so okay so change to shade or hidden line maybe we can delete this one and then use this um, join on join roof pick this roof so this is a prop proper roof so this wall just need to attach to this roof and then we can use that uh, uh, dorma opening so pick this roof pick this roof and then pick the in in internal internal uh, yeah it's a little bit hard to pick uh, here yeah, maybe wireframe WF yeah, that's easier that's better so now you can just create a dorma opening okay so wireframe that's it and so this one um, general model I think it's it can be useful so especially for some of this so for example if you need if you need this window you can model a window like uh, look uh, exactly like this or like this one so in the next time if you need them you can just load this family and place place it on a roof you can also change the the categories into a window if you if you if you need to okay so um that's it that's it for today if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye